Hello, welcome to another NYU Respiratory Department training video for neonatal transport. Today we're going to talk about conventional ventilation with nitric oxide use. So for conventional ventilation, we use the crossvent ventilator, and this is our circuit that will use our crossvent circuit. For nitric oxide, what we need is two of these packages from Mallinckrodt, from the nitric oxide company, and they're called neonatal tubing two pieces. And each one, you have two pieces, a long piece and a short piece. We will need the short pieces from these sets. So two short pieces we're gonna need. And I'll put them to the side right here. And with the long pieces, we don't need the long pieces, but they have an adapter on them <clears throat> that we pull off. And this adapter is very useful for our purposes. So we use both two adapters and we discard the long pieces. So now we have two adapters and the two short pieces. With nitric oxide, the purpose or the, the goal with nitric oxide is always to deliver into the circuit and to sample in the circuit as close to the patient as possible. So the question becomes, how are we going to deliver the nitric oxide? And we need to use our injector module, our nitric oxide system. So how are we going to deliver into the circuit? What we're going to do is we're going to take our first short piece, and we need a white 15 millimeter adapter. So a white 15 millimeter adapter connects to this short piece. It looks like a bit of a tough connection. This goes inside the white adapter and you just use a little bit of pressure and angle it in like so. So now this white adapter adapts right into here and this goes right into the back of, and this is the arrow, the path of flow of the nitric oxide towards the patient. And this piece connects right to the back of our patient port right back here. So now it's going from the ventilator and this is going to go into the circuit. So how are we going to connect this to the circuit? This is where we're going to use our first connector. What's good about this little connector is it has a little inner tube that's going to be useful. So we put this in here and we take our inspiratory limb for our circuit. And the inspiratory limb for our circuit goes right up and over that inner piece inside that adapter. So now we could attach this to there and we're delivering and we're uh, delivering nitric oxide into the circuit. Now we take the inspiratory limb and we want to measure. So how are we going to sample? We're going to separate the inspiratory limb from the Y. We're going to take our second short piece here. We're going to put it right here over the Y. We're going to get a circuit sample T, what we typically use for nitric oxide sampling in line. And this fits right in there. And our last adapter we put in here. And again, the circuit fits over that little inner piece here. And so now we're delivering nitric oxide into the system and we could sample it right here. This is our nitric oxide, typical system that we use. And our sample line will now connect right into here. So now we're sampling and we're delivering from our injector module cable and our injector module tubing up into the injector module, delivering and sampling nitric oxide. We're gonna finish connecting the rest of our circuit so I'll put my pressure line here, up and over, and our expiratory line here, and now if I was to lay this right here, this is a special regulator for our nitric oxide tank. So this is the regulator. This is our D size nitric oxide transport tank. The regulator goes 
on and over the tank right here. And we just twist it on and connect it. Get a nice tight seal. So we can see our gauge. It comes with this cap, infrared cap. This cap goes over this metal piece right here at this notch right here and it fits over. That's just so there's a chip inside that reads the hours that the nitric oxide has been used. And this is the infrared cable that we typically, from the regular nitric oxide system, it uses. And we just connect it to the infrared cable connection right there. And this is our regulator. So this is our regulator hose that goes in the back here like we do nitric oxide. When we turn on, we use the cap to open up our tank. You can see that we filled up. So now our access, the path of flow for the nitric oxide is going from the tank, through the regulator, over the regulator hose, into the back of the nitric. We turn on our system, and we would now turn this on and pre-test it and use it exactly the way we're supposed to use nitric oxide. We do the same pre-test that Mallinckrodt recommends for use of nitric oxide. It runs its own locale, we're going to make sure our sample line and everything's connected as it should be. We're going to run uh, all the tests. All right. And then we have an ino blender here with an ino blender hose that's connected to our nitric oxide. And there's an O2 hose back here into the ino blender. And this O2 hose is connected all through this system. So there, and when we turn on this flow meter right here, we turn on the flow meter, we dial, we could attach an AMBU bag right here, and we could AMBU a patient with nitric oxide if they were getting it through the cross vent. We use the cross vent system exactly like we know how. And so we're using the cross vent system, we're delivering nitric oxide together. Um, we have plenty of nitric oxide in this tank. If it's running at 20 parts per million, we have something like 11 hours about um, with a full tank. We're going to run out of oxygen and air well below we run out of nitric oxide. So that's not a concern for us. Um, all right, so that's nitric oxide connection through the cross vent system.